what is good horror horde this is your boy horror gamer back with another video for you and as you can tell by the title of this video we're going to be doing a special unboxing today i am super excited today but before i get into the unboxing i just want to say happy resident evil day yes today is the day resident evil 8 village has been released and has finally finally able to be played but unfortunately your boy Hard Gamer can't play it tonight because I have prior engagements and it's going to prevent me from playing. But remember, tomorrow we're still having the um, Resident Evil 8 launch party on your boy Horror Gamer's Twitch. So conveniently enough, the link for said Twitch is going to be in the description below. So get in on that. Get in on that. I'm going to be giving away a $25 gift card. For Amazon, we're going to have fun, we're going to have some Resident Evil trivia, and we're just going to talk Resident Evil for four hours. It's from one to five, four hours. It'll be Pennsylvania time, whatever Pennsylvania time is, because that's where your boy horror gamer's from. One to five, Pennsylvania time. So, I'm super excited to get into that. Now, with all that said, let's dive right into this unboxing. Before I unbox the biggie big here, look... It's got some weight to it. Ugh. The biggie big. We have one, one little one to unbox that I'm super excited to uh, get in. So let's just dive right into it. This is from eBay. I saw this. I saw it for a decent price. And I loved the movie when I was a kid. I thought it was an amazing movie. So when I saw it, it's able to be ordered on Blu-ray. I was like, yeah, we're going to dive into it. And this is epic. It's a, it's one of those um, made on demand movies. So you really, it is what it is, but it's, it's freaked. The nineties movie freaked with um, the dude from Bill and Ted in it. Alex Winter, he's in it. He, uh, he plays the main character in this and this is, such a great movie. It says Alex Winter from Bill and Ted stars as Ricky Coogan, an arrogant former child star who becomes the celebrity spokesman for toxic fertilizer Ziggurat 24. But when Ricky is taken prisoner by Demented Sci Show aficionado Elijah C. Skuggs, which is played by Randy Quaid, he's awesome. He's, he's so awesome in this movie. He is transformed into a hideous mutant freak to join the likes of the bearded lady, Mr. T. And that's hilarious that Mr. T is in it as the bearded lady because back in the 90s, he was considered like tough, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, he played Cl Clubber Lang, you know what I mean? Clubber Lang. And now he's playing the bearded lady. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. <clears throat> Sockhead, Bob Bobcat Goldfoyt, a human worm, a giant nose and their fearless leader Ortiz the dog boy an uncredited unforgettable performance by Keanu Reeves so Keanu Reeves is in this can a hack actor turn genetic nightmare now survive an evil conspiracy of corporate sleazebags Desperate Milkmen, Rostrant Rastafarian Eyeballs, Canned Cheese, and most horrifying of all, Brooke Shields. It's time to get freaked. This movie was such a good time. I, I really recommend you get it. I would love to see Screen Factory get a hold of this and actually give it some tender loving care that they have a a tendency of doing with older films. I would love to see this get a Screen Factory release. That'd be epic as shit. All right, freaked. Now, <laughs> let's, whoop, 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 I'm shaking you guys up, shaking you guys up, whoop. Now let's get into the real reason why we're here today. Let's unbox this hefty motherfucker. Let's see what we got. You guys ready for this? Oh God, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to sink my paws into this tomorrow. 
Oh, all right. Here we go. This thing is weighty. Like, this thing got some fucking beef behind it. It's a lot heavier than the, the other ones. There we go. Oh, here it is. This thing is sexy as fuck. There it is, guys. The Resident Evil 8 Collector's Edition. Boy, whew. It looks... Spoiler alert, that's what we have in the Collector's Edition. Oh, this thing is sexy as shit. I can't barely contain myself. Alright, let's see what we got. It's in the bag, in the bag, in the bag. Come on. Let me have her. Let me get her. Give me. This thing's fighting me every step of the way. Yeah, there it is. Oh my god, guys. This thing is fucking gorgeous. Look at it. This thing is sexy as all get out. I am so excited to get into this game. Holy shit. All right, let's let's dig in, shall we? Let's see what what good old Capcom has in store with for us in this bad boy. Right, let's remove that. That's a nice, that's a nice solid sleeve here. All right, first things first, if I could already point this out, it looks awesome. It looks like a travel case. Like, like there's stickers all over it, you know, where it's been and stuff. All right. Let's get the old knife. Can this work? All right. So let's get these off. Okay. Let's get. Let's cut into this a little bit. Try not to mess it up. You know, when you spend a lot of money on something, you want that shit legit. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Hold on to your butts. All right, we're gonna open it up. Holy shit. Dude, okay, look. First thing, right off the bat, you got the regular game right there, and you got the steel book. It's the it's the Resident Evil 8 steel book. Wow, that shit is sexy as all get out. Look at that, Resident Evil 8 steel book. Wow, dude. And then here, of course, is the game. It's a Resident Evil 8 game. The Xbox One X. Excited to get into that. Oh, God, I'm so excited. All right, and next we have... Oh, we got to take this off. Next we have... This is cool as shit. This is a cloth map. There, let me open that up. And I'll, I'll show you guys what I mean. If I can figure out how to open it up. Uh, I don't want to cut it. Because I want to be able to replace it. I'll we'll just have to open it that way. Okay, this, it's a cloth map. Watch. It's made of a cloth. And it's a map of the game on a cloth. Isn't that cool as hell? Look at that. It's the whole village. That is amazing. And then on the back, it says Resident Evil Village on it. Man, these guys, man. Look at that. 
These guys put some work in on this box set, yo. Look at that. Whole map of the village right there. That is cool. All right, let's let's fold her back up the way she was. That way we can put it back in the in the baggie. You know what? That's a project for another time. Okay, so we got the map. Next we have. Oh my God, it's hard. Oh my gosh, that's quality right there. It's a hard bound. It's the Resident Evil Traveler's Guide. It's hard, hard cover. It's hard cover, guys. What? And it's just, it's like pictures from the game, like models and all kinds of stuff. Man, this has some quality to it. Whoever made this box set killed it. It's, look at that. You got areas of the game and it's, you know, some character models and all kinds of stuff. Look at that, that is so cool guys. I am just amazed by the quality, the quality of this product. Like hardbound, you know, just artwork and and like I said, it's it's solid. It's it's a hardback book. I've seen people unbox this and it was like a softback. And this one came with a hardback. That is cool as hell. And then, I think last, but certainly not least, we have the, what I've all been waiting for. We have the, oh, it's got some, dude, it's got some ass behind it. Chris Redfield fucking statue. Without further ado, guys, let's jump right into this. He needs to be standing next to my other one, so let's get him going. Let's open him up. I'm gonna put this down here. This was definitely quality. I am glad that I I spent the money on this because this is this is epic as shit. Alright. Alright, here we go guys. Oh, he is amazing. Oh, he's amazing. He smells good, too. Oh, I love the smell of brand new vinyls being open. Okay. Oh, he looks awesome, guys. Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, I am like... You don't understand, I'm over the moon right now. I only splurge for games like this once, once in a blue moon, and the once in a blue moon is when Resident Evil is released. I'll always go collector's edition for Resident Evil. Oh guys, he is amazing. Oh, he's heavy too. He's got some fucking ass behind him. Holy shit. He is definitely a higher quality than the other ones. I hate to say it, I mean, they're still beautiful statues, but they're nowhere near as like bulky and as beefy as this statue is. So, let's take a look. Let's examine our boy Chris a little more here. Let me get the uh, this part out. And let's take a look. Because this is quality, like, this is a, a damn good statue. Alright. Yeah. There we go. Alright. So we're going to put all this right here for now. I'm going to take a look. Alright, first things first. Let's get him out of the plastic. Yeah, he's got some weight to him. He is... 
he's a beast. He's awesome looking too. I mean, he's kind of like, he's wearing all black, so he's like kind of blandish, but he's Chris Redfield, yo. He's a badass. But yeah, this definitely has a lot of beef behind it. This is weighty. Like, this is a very weighty piece. And it's awesome. Look at him. Look at him. Here's his gun. And like, I love the articulation in the gun. Like, look at the, look at the, um, the muzzle, the silencer on the gun. It, you could tell it was used, like it was used because the paint is wearing off on it. I love the paint job they did with this. It is an amazing piece, guys. My dogs are... <laughs> I'm just messing, Cass. Here's the part that always scares me, is putting the guns in their hand. Because I'm afraid I'll break, like, their finger off or something. But Chris is... He's made really well. So, all right, there it is. Here's Chris holding his gun. Looking, looking amazing, yo. Now, let's take a look at this bottom piece, the stand. The stand is very well done. I mean, it's this is light. Like, this doesn't have any um, weight to it. I love the wolf insignia on it. Right there it says Chris Redfield, gold black. Very, very nice stand. So, without further ado, let's put Chris on his permanent home. Let's see what he looks like. A little bit of force behind that motherfucker. There you have it. The Chris Redfield statue. After I'm done here, I will put them side by side so y'all can see them. But look at that. That is amazing, guys. This is definitely an amazing piece. This collector's edition alone is just uh, unrivaled. Like, like I said, if you if you could feel how heavy Chris Redfield is, you could tell that this someone took their time and made an amazing statue. But yeah, he's gonna look really good next to um jill and leon now we just got to get a claire you know i know you guys are doing your remakes but remake the original resident evil or code veronica i know you want to go through four next but four has been done to death come on come on Capcom. but there it is so all right horror horde let's just recap the awesomeness that comes in this collection or this collector's edition we have the game, The Steelbook. We have the map that's made of cloth. Oops, I almost dropped it. The map that's made of cloth with the cool little Resident Evil insignia on the back. We have this amazing Resident Evil Village hardbound book with pictures of the game and concept art you know the characters all that fun stuff and we have the amazing Chris Redfield piece so alright horror horde with all that being said my mind is fucking blown and I'm super excited about all of this so like I said, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get into it tonight because of prior engagements, but I am chomping at the bit to play this motherfucker. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am about it. And if you got the game, let me know in the comments section what you think about it, whether you're enjoying it, whether it's fun, whether it's you think it's overrated, it was hyped up too much, or whether it's living up to the hype. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget, tomorrow, May eighth from one to five the resident evil eight launch party your boy chris redfield says be there or be square link will be in the uh, description below to get in on that and with all that being said horror horde i love you guys thank you guys and until next time this is your boy horror gamer saying as always don't fear the darkness embrace it 
after Resident Evil 8 is finally here. Yo, what's up? I love you guys. I'm out.